Everybody gonna shine, boy. Listen, man. We made it to my favorite part of the show, man. You know what it is, man. Or you gotta learn what it is. It's the topic of discussion. And look, man, as I mentioned off the top, this is Legends Week, man. This is Legends Week here on Finalize, man, where we are recognizing the legends, man, and not the legends that you got in mind. We are putting the spotlight on these legendary boys for whatever reason, man, because everybody got a different path, man. They did not get to show that legendary work on the highest level. And if so, it wasn't for a long period of time, man. So we got to show love, man, to these boys because they were incredible, man, in their time on the court. Tom was shaky last night. Hey, listen, he was shaky enough to get that W. I'm going to lead a football talk right there. <laughs> Hey, Tom was shaky, okay? So listen, man. Tonight, 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 man, this one here, this legend was literally one of the best, and I do mean the best, to ever bless the court. This... <sighs> Boy, this boy, man. This boy here, man, lost his life at 17 years old, man. That's hard to even say. But I'm going to tell y'all something, man. This boy was the number one player in the country at the time of his demise. Man, that's probably unheard of. Yeah. Now listen, man. I am speaking of no other than the late great Ben Wilson. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, man. Listen, Ben Wilson, man. A lot of people in the Chi Town may know him as Benji. Benji is from, man, Chicago, Illinois, man, born uh, March 18th, 1967. You know, now listen, man, Ben Wilson, I'm going to give y'all a little brief background on this dude, man. You talking about a kid, man, I don't even think Ben made it. On a varsity team, man, it's freshman year, so it's no Cinderella story or nothing like that. Man, he worked his way up, man. He got shut down his freshman year, man. Worked his way up. Started as a smaller guard, if I'm not mistaken, man. And um, before you knew it, man, that size developed along with his game. When Ben got up there, man, to that status, man, of being a number one high school basketball player in the country. He was 6'8", you know, 190. I'm going to tell you right now, if you haven't seen Ben Wilson footage, I'm going to just tell you who I believe that game resembles. Y'all ready? Whenever I watch Kevin Durant play, I think about that Ben Wilson. Yes, indeed. Whenever I see KD play, I think about Ben Wilson. The only difference, or I would say the main difference that sticks out to me between Ben's game and Kevin's game was Ben played more post, or he was probably more dominant post. And again, 
this is all for film, man. This is just watching film. You know, if you seen Ben in real time, man, you got to speak up and show some love, man. You know, whether you whether you do it on the City of Oaks media, man, through the comments, you on the live, man, show some love and share the stories, man, if you've seen Ben live in the living color. Because I'm talking about a boy that can put it on the floor, can finish around that rim, the most beautiful jump shot I have ever seen. And we talked about last night, man. We talked about Lynn Bice, how beautiful that shot was. But Lord have mercy, Ben Wilson. Man, kid was amazing, man. Kid was amazing. What you got, bro? Man, kid was amazing. Hey, man. Shy Town, man. Shy Town, y'all had one, boy. Y'all had one amazing boy. Hey, listen, man. I'm going to run these things down, these accolades, man, of Ben Wilson, man. Look, y'all, we talking about the IHSA state champion. That's 84, y'all. That's 84, man. Chicago Public School League city champion. That's 84 as well. So we got the city title, the state title. Man, and listen, this tradition that happened following Ben's death was this. Every star player that played at Simeon High School went on to carry Ben's jersey number. You know, we're talking about the likes of Derrick Rose, you know, Jabari Parker, all the great ones, man, that came through that Simeon High School out there in the shot, which is known for serious ballers, man. I mean, this boy blessed the floor. And um, the latest story on his jersey is this. The school decided to retire his number, man. So he's in the Raptors, man, where he belongs. You know, the legend, Ben Wilson. Now, look, y'all, on the downside of things, man, how this uh, young legend lost his life, man. What do you say, bro? Do you think that Ben Wilson would have been a better prospect than Lynn Bias? Woo! Hey, look, man, normally I say you're a wild dude, man. <laughs> Normally, you're a wild dude, man, but that got to be the best question, man, that you could have asked, man. Listen, man. Oh, man, this is tough right here, boy. A better prospect. I'm going to just say this, man. I'm going to just say this because it's election day, man, and you know, the Oaks could be a politician himself, man. So I'm going to just say this. Look, Ben Wilson was the number one player in the country at his demise. Lynn Bias wasn't. So I'm hey I'm a, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you figure it out from there, man. I'm gonna let you take it from there, bro. But rest in peace to both of those legends because they both was amazing. They both was amazing, man. But tonight, it's all about Ben Wilson, man. You know, hey, what do you say, bro? Yeah, man. Look, Ben Wilson, man, doing that demise, man. I mean, which led to his demise, rather. Um, you know, he, he lost his life, man. Uh to a to a a young fella himself, man. If I'm not mistaken, the kid that took his life was uh probably like 15 or 16 years old at the time, yo. And um, basically, man, the guy told his side of the story as well, man. Um, how he was a hurt kid, and you know, um, Ben, you know, from my understanding, was also, you know, on a personal side, you know, moving at a rate. That uh, that probably wasn't um, you know, best suitable, I guess, 
is is a is a better way to say, you know, was best suitable for him at that age at that time, you know. Um and uh you talking about two kids probably a bit out of pocket, you know, bumping heads and uh you know he he was shot to death, you know, and, and lost his life, you know, at 17 years old, man. And um I say that to say this, man. I tell that part of the story mainly for the youngsters, man, that um that did check in to finalize and um is want you to understand, man. Look, you know, if you're great, you're great at something, you're great at that, you know. Um, but that's not you. You know, when you when you leave that court or you leave wherever, you know, your professionist your perfectionist at, you left it. That's you you stepping into real life after that, you know. You can't carry that around. That's not the reality of who you are. That's just what you do. That's what you're good at, you know. But um, you're not a superhero, regardless of what America or what, you know, your peers are telling you, man. You're still a real person. And um, you got you got to move with respect to receive it. And um, he didn't deserve to lose his life you know, at 17 years old. And there's a lot of youngsters that's full of amazing talent, man, that then lost their lives as well, or hidden in that path, man. What'd you say, bro? They didn't seem to be moving at an unhealthy pace. Indeed, indeed, man. You know, um, you know, 17 years old, I want to say Ben had a son already. He had a son as a, as, as a baby at that time, man. Um, you know, story is he he was, you know, mixing and mingling, man, with the ladies, of course, if he had the son and grown women, of course, you know. But, um, man, look, man, a lot of things are thrown at you, young boys, man. I get it, especially when you have the talent of a Ben Wilson or even any, anything close to it, man, or a glimpse of it. A lot of things going to get thrown your way, man. But listen. I told this to my dear nephew many years ago. You can answer every call. It's, it's that simple, yo. You cannot answer every call, man. And believe me, they going to call. They going to call you. So look, man. If you didn't take away nothing else, man, from this show, you got to take away this one, man. Got to take away that you cannot put yourself in a position, man, to where you got to pay the price. A price that you cannot afford, and that's your life. Man, look here, y'all. I finished, made it all possible, y'all. Made it all possible, man. Shout out to my guy, Lee who's always, <laughs> and I do mean always, man, on the live show here, finalized, man. Special, special dude, man. Actually a winner too, man. A winner, one of the giveaways, man. So big shout out to my man, Lee. I'm your host once again, Darnell Oaks. Yeah. And look, y'all, Legends Week continues. You got to tap in and see what we're talking about tomorrow. See y'all in a little bit.